active so we can begin creating our Facebook feed. On the left hand side once again under Facebook feed, click on all feeds. Next, go click on add new at the top. With Facebook Feed Pro, you can create a variety of different feed types, such as a feed of posts from your Facebook timeline, a feed of photos from your Facebook page, a feed of videos from your Facebook page, a feed of photos from your Facebook albums, and more below. But for this video, we want to display our Facebook page, so I'm going to keep it on the timeline option that's already selected for us here, so we can go click on next. And now we'll have to add a source for our feed. Click on add new. And now on this step, we'll have to select our source type, whether it's a Facebook page or a Facebook group. We want to display our Facebook page and that's already selected for us here. So we can go click on connect to Facebook. This will take you into Facebook and you should now see all the Facebook pages associated with your account. Go ahead and select the Facebook page you want to embed on your WordPress website like this and click next. And now it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook account. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on our behalf. So it's completely safe. Go click on done, then click on OK. This will bring you back into the plugin and you should now see all the Facebook pages that we've connected with Smash Blue. Go and select the Facebook page you want to display inside your feed like this and click on add. Then select it as a source and click next. And for this step, you'll have to select from one of these professionally designed themes for the appearance of your feed. You have options like the default, modern, social wall, outline, and overlap. Each one offers a unique design to help you create the best looking feed possible. For this video, I'm going to go with the modern theme and click next. And for our last step, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our feed. We have options like default, simple masonry, widget, simple cards, and more below. For this video, I'm going to go with the simple masonry option and click on next. And in just a few minutes, we have a live preview of our Facebook feed directly inside the plugin. This feed displays the Facebook page we connected along with the latest content on that page. And because we selected the modern theme, the reactions underneath each post are designed to match the ones on Facebook exactly. We can now go and embed our Facebook feed on our WordPress web page, but before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Inside, you'll find several options to modify the layout of your feed. At the top, you can see we have layout options like the list, masonry, and carousel. Currently, the masonry layout is selected, which displays your Facebook posts in rows and columns like this. Above that, we have the list layout, which displays your Facebook posts in a single column list like this. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which allows site visitors to swipe through your posts by clicking on these buttons here. But for this video, we're going to continue with the masonry layout. And if you look down below, you can also choose how many posts you display inside the feed. Currently, we've got nine posts displayed, but if you want to change that, all you have to do is enter the number of posts you want to display, just like this. And inside the preview on the right hand side, you can see that change has been made instantly. I'm going to change that back to nine. And if you look below, you can also choose how many columns you display inside your Facebook feed. To modify this, all you have to do is open it up and select the number of columns you want to display. And once again, you can see the preview has matched our change. I'll change that back to three. And if you're happy with the layout of your Facebook feed, go click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your Facebook feed, under the customize tab, click on color scheme. Currently, you can see that we have inherit from theme as our color scheme. This means that the plugin will automatically match the colors of your WordPress theme. Next, we have a light theme, dark theme, or even a custom theme that allows you to select the exact colors you want for your feed, just like this. And once you have a color scheme you're happy with, make sure to go click save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want to moderate the content you display inside your Facebook feed, go into the settings tab and click on filters. Inside, you'll find several options to filter the content inside your feed. At the top, you can specify if you want to display posts by page owner, page owner and visitors, or just visitors. Below that, you can also choose if you want to display all posts or only specific posts inside your feed. If you click on only specific posts, you have even more options to filter the content in your feed. You can add filters to only show text posts, shared links, videos, single photos, multiple photos on an album, or even Facebook events. For this example, I'm going to keep it as all posts. And underneath that, you can also add words as filters to hide or show certain posts containing those words. And at the bottom, you can also enable a filter to only show posts within a certain date range. With these filters, you have complete control over the content you display inside your Facebook feed. And if you added any filters, make sure to hit save on the top right corner.